Hello everyone, welcome back to Fear Coaching. Today we're going to be talking about the implementation of your goals. So let's get started. The first thing you need to consider when making a program is essentially having a goal to work for and outlining the things you have to do. I recommend that you have a to-do list, you can use Google Tasks, your notebook, or the notes app on your phone to keep track of what you have to do. The next thing is allocating enough time for each task. For example, if you have a task that you think is gonna last five hours, estimate for the worst and then put five and a half or six hours next to it. This way you're gonna know exactly how much time you have to spend on each task and this will keep you up to date. As I said, you have to plan for the worst case scenario. Lists and programs are your friends, so use them accordingly. Being able to visualize how much time you're gonna spend on a task is crucial. Until you do have a program, all these tasks may look a bit formidable, but once you put those in, you're gonna realize that it's not that big of a deal. They're still gonna require to work hard, but in the end, being able to visualize everything and seeing everything on a plan is gonna be beneficial for you. While creating this program, my suggestion is to divide the work you have to do to equal segments. What I mean by that is overloading yourself two or three days before the task or the thing you're working for is due is going to be a problem. To eliminate that, I suggest to divide the work into small segments and then work in small intervals. My honest opinion on this is that working for shorter periods for a longer time is going to be more beneficial for you because the amount of things you have to do each day are going to be less so you can easily adapt to certain situations and plan accordingly again. However, cramming everything to the last three days is going to be pretty hard and you won't have too much room to breathe. And one thing to mention here is that adding things to your program is much easier than taking things off. What I mean by that is if you finish early, you can always do more, but if you plan to do a significant amount of work uh, given a short period of time there's a good chance that you might fail so my suggestion is to plan for the worst case which is doing less and then if you finish early you can always do more plus finishing a task earlier than you anticipated is going to give you more room to breathe and will also make you feel better one last thing to mention here is that you can really benefit from using reminders. What I mean by that is your phones, your everyday essentials, you never go anywhere without them, you always have them by your side. So make them as conducive to learning as possible. They have to be efficient. You should be able to see everything you're gonna do when you unlock your phone. So my suggestion is use widgets or reminder so that your phone is the one that's going to remind you to do something. This will help you keep posted and remember the things that you forgot to do. Cell phones are created for ease of use, so use them. That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Be sure to stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.